ladies and gentlemen, please welcome City Visions presenter, Jason Roberts. Hi, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, Jason Roberts from Dallas, Texas. Um, I have a, a company called Team Better Block. We do these rapid urban interventions in cities. Uh, in, started in Dallas, Texas in 2010. Uh, a lot of my ideas, though, I was not an urban planner. I was an IT consultant and fixed uh, websites for a living. But I was inspired by taking trips to Europe and seeing places that had legacies. These were places that were built a thousand years ago that had young people and old people and fountains and were full of life. And I came back to Dallas and said, well, what are we building? What's our legacy? And I saw a lot of these things and thought, oh, great. It's going to be really hard to make these places come to life. So I decided I wanted to do a project to bring these places back to life from what I saw in my own community. Now, to begin, I started looking at old maps in my neighborhood saying, what did we used to build a long time ago? How did we used to create things? And I saw old trolley maps and showed how we used to have this trolley network with uh, uh, old buildings in our neighborhoods. And I thought, you know, I'll, I'll see if I can bring the trolley back with, with my community. People said it's a horrible idea. It'll never work. And again, I knew nothing about urban planning or streetcars, but I knew about building websites. So I built a website called the Oak Cliff Transit Authority. It looked really official. It had about pages and boards and news and histories. And the next day, the Dallas Morning News came out and said, dreaming the day the streetcars return, that's what Jason Roberts and other members of the recently formed Oak Cliff Transit Authority are hoping. <laughs> but there were no other members. Um, <laughs> but what happened after that is I had actually people help me out and said, let's actually do this project and see if we can get something happening. While I was working on that project, I started looking at old blocks in my neighborhood, the old streetcar stops that were now boarded up or largely vacant with wide streets that were gray, kind of no landscaping, bad zoning. I had laws uh, that said it was $1,000 to put flowers on the sidewalk and $1,000 per year to do outdoor cafe seating. It was illegal for crowds to gather. So I thought, okay, why don't I just do a, took these, one of these blocks and see if I can do something with pri people in the neighborhood and break every law we possibly can to make this a great place over a weekend, right? So we did. We painted our own bike lanes. We had our own cafe seating. We thinned the streets. We added murals to the buildings. We started actually taking those empty buildings and putting the businesses we wish we always had, like cafes, flower shops, art galleries. And then we started printing off all the laws we were breaking, and we put them in the windows so people could see it in the neighborhood. And we invited the city staff and mayor out and said, hey, surprise, it's a better block. <laughs> Um, and I said, I don't know if we're supposed to be here. Um, so, but the thing is, the amazing thing from that project was it was so successful that we had businesses actually stay. This is one of the businesses in our neighborhood that was just a pop-up shop that we were trying to test good ideas in our community. So people said, that's great, you did it one time, it was in spring, but it's Dallas, it gets really hot. Why don't you try it when it's 100 degrees out? So we took another block, it was gray and cold and like no sidewalks on one side, broken up sidewalks on the other, empty buildings everywhere. I have a pole with nothing on it, just this inhospitable place. We took this and we decided to bring out 42 trees, 100 bushes so people could cross the street safely. We actually took old pallets and we made decks so people could sit outside as well. Uh, we we uh, put bikes on the poles, we put t uh, tables under the trees, we painted our own cross walks. You're not supposed to do that. And then uh, we invited people out. And we said, you know, we've seen so many of these renderings that show how great our community be could be, but what would happen if we just took that energy and the time it takes to make a rendering and just build it ourselves, which is what we did. And what happens when you break all those laws? This is my friend that helped me print them off. He's now our city councilman. So I found there's a one-to-one -one correlation between breaking laws and becoming a public official. <laughs> all right. So lastly, uh, so the thing we learned was there's actually this idea of not, don't think big. That's what our city kept saying. Think big. Think small. We need 100 little things on our block to make a great place. So we use simple items like white duct tape because it looks just like thermoplastic paint, spray chalks. We go out and we use uh, uh, straw walls that they use in construction sites to keep erosion out of the gutters and replant these curbs. Then we take the graphics off of buses and we make crosswalks. So when we come to the city and they say, hey, we want to fix this intersection, they say, we don't know how to do it. It's going to take millions of dollars and take years. We can show them over a weekend. This is how you do it. <laughs> it's easy. And so people also ask me, how do you get away with breaking all these laws in broad daylight? I said, you can break any law you want as long as you wear an orange vest. Okay. <laughs> Lastly, thank you. <laughs> So that Better Block project that we started back in 2010, it became kind of this open source movement. People asked us how to do it. We just created these how-to guides. And when the next year, it started going international. We went from Melbourne, Australia to uh, Tehran, Iran. And people in Tehran, Iran called me and asked me, hey, what about breaking laws? I'm like, I don't know about breaking laws in Tehran. <laughs> All right, now back to that streetcar project. So I just did this little project. I did a website. I started talking to my city. This is my little team. We're studying other streetcar networks. And I told the city of Dallas, hey, we want to bring a streetcar back. It's like, good luck with your streetcar. Okay, great. We're going to start trying to fly for some grants. And what happened was with that little project, we won millions of dollars and we brought the streetcar back. And now we're seeing all this development happen in our community thanks to that. And that's all. Thank you, guys. <laughs>